Okay, I got myself a big old pork belly here that I'm going to trim up and then I'm going to cure and smoke and turn into bacon. I'm going to use a dry cure. The first step is to take the uh, pork belly and then we want to trim it up so it fits nicely in a pan and it gets evenly cured with my dry cure. So, just going to kind of flatten this out a bit. I want to get some nice straight sides on here so it'll fit nicely in my pan and then I want it to be about even thickness so that when I cure it, it cures evenly throughout the whole thing. So I'm just going to trim the edges. Any of these pieces I'm going to use for sausage. So now I have a not so bad, this is a really thick belly. There's uh, lots of meat on there. Uh, it seems to be a bit thicker in some spots than other spots, but I think we'll be okay. Now we're gonna take our belly, we're gonna put it fat side down. We're gonna cover our belly now with our cure. The dry cure recipe that I use is from page 39 of the charcuterie book by Michael Rollman and Brian Polson. We're gonna cover our belly now with our cure and I'm just gonna sprinkle it evenly over the top of the belly. I'm only going to do the top, the one side, I'm going to do the meat side and as the cure starts to work the liquid's going to cool on the bottom and that's going to cure the bottom side of it. So I'm not even going to flip this over the next few days as I cure it. I'm going to try to get right up to the edges by just using my hand as a bit of a spacer here. Cool. So it's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more a couple spots here. Now this is good to go in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the fridge for two days and then I'm going to look at it. I might add some more cure then. Probably will add some more cure then. And then two days after that it'll likely be ready to be pulled out of the fridge and then hung to dry out a bit and then we'll smoke it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this has been in the fridge for about seven days. You can see that a lot of liquid has come out of the pork belly and is at the bottom of the tray. The color has changed and even the pork belly itself is a little firmer. So this is what I want and I'm going to take this over to the sink and I'm going to rinse it off and then I'm going to hang it in my fridge to dry for one day and then I'm going to smoke it. I want it to be dry. If you're in a hurry you can use paper towel to pat this dry but it'll it, the results of the smoking will be better if it's dry when it goes in the smoke. Okay, now I'm going to smoke the bacon and I'm going to take some little twigs. Uh, you don't need a lot of wood, but I find these burn pretty good. These are apple twigs from our apple trees in the garden. Load them into the smoker. I'm going to load the bacon into the top. And then I'm going to set a probe. I want to probe the thickest piece of the meat. I'm actually going to turn this around. The probe in here, right in the middle of that thick piece there. Close off the smoker. Uh, 
I'm going to set my thermometer for 63 degrees centigrade, which is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Pork belly's been smoking for a couple of hours, low and slow, and it's finally gotten up to my target temperature of 64 degrees centigrade, or around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So now it's time to take it out of the smoker. I'm going to let it cool for a little bit, and then I'm going to slice it up. So you can see this slice is real nice. I like a thick slice personally. And this is going to be delicious bacon on the cheap that you made and you can be proud of. And this will be great for breakfast or any other meal of the day. And it truly is delicious. Thanks for watching.